So according to Jeff Bezos, life at the top is fairly great, with private jets that can transport you anywhere in the world at the moment's notice, a remote island to get away from it all, and the nicest penthouse in New York to enjoy champagne while looking out over the city. He recently spurged on a $65 million jet at 80 million New York City residents and even the installation of a $42 million mechanical clock that will tick for 10,000 years. But it isn't always a life of luxury. Tens of thousands of people work under Bezos' supervision and managing Amazon with his other enterprises may be taxing. And what better getaway from the routine of everyday life on land than to visit your $400 million yacht? At least that is what the rumors from a few years back said. Welcome from our channel once more. Make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already, so that you're informed whenever we post a new video. The rumored Jeff Bezos' big yacht, the Flying Fox, was seen floating off the coast of Turkey. Whether you're into boating or not, there is no denying this magnificent bit of architecture. It's 136 meters long, making it the 14th largest yacht in the world. It was built by the shipping company Lursen in 2019. The luxury boat comes with two helipads because one is never enough, a 40-foot swimming pool, a two-deck spa that includes health and wellness facilities, and a sprawling cinema. Or he could watch Amazon Prime Originals, 36 guest cabins, including 11 VIP cabins across its four decks. Complete this floating marvel. Oh no, wait a minute. It also runs with a crew of 54, so every one of your guests is well taken care of. The luxurious contemporary interior design is the work of Mark Berryman, a super yacht interior designer. The living space is large but manages to look cozy, thanks to the use of wood in warm tones with pops of blue to provide a visual break. This work is best enjoyed in the gorgeous bore area, which features a wood fireplace and a huge mahogany dining table that looks out there. But if you're raring to do something while you're on board and not just stare at the view, there's a world of convenience and luxuries right here in the boat. The Flying Fox features a 13,000 square foot spa spanning two decks. It's a lobby with heated limestone floors and oak paneling is another showstopper by Mark Berman. And it makes for a beautiful welcome area to set the tone for the rest of this. The plus, Murano Spa offers a Turkish hammam, has a steam sauna, and of course, a fully equipped gym. Plus, Murano also has a besoded rooms where you can enjoy the same treatment. You'd get in a 5-star resort on land and to get ready for those fancy 5-star dinners out on the deck. You need to look your best for that. The yacht also has a beauty salon, the theater in the yard, 14 guests and comes with an Atmos sound system and media system with over 30,000 films. And there is even a virtual reality system. The guest cabins all have ensuite bathrooms and walk-in closets, but they're nowhere near the size of a master suite on the top deck. The 328-square-foot master suite spans the entire top deck and includes a dedicated salon, gas fire pit, and a private jacuzzi. You can enjoy the graceful architecture of the boat while lounging in the massive swimming pool or in the on-deck jacuzzi while the staff whips up some barbecue or a pizza in the world. In fact, the open-air gallery features five different types of ovens, plus two teppanyaki grills. The alfresco dining area sits 24 guests, and you have five chefs catering from multiple diets and cuisines, all prepared fresh and in full view. So you can kick back and relax on the lounge chairs with a cocktail and gourmet snacks, as you watch the helicopters fly in and drop off yet. Another uber-wealthy guest is only way to truly appreciate the curvy and extraordinary interior, complemented perfectly by her dove gray hull. A quick first glance reveals the six decks with a 40-foot pool on the AFT deck is one of the largest transverse pools on any yacht. And it has a retractable wall that divides the water in, so you have a choice between fresh water or salt water, and temperatures ranging from steaming to icy the two helipads offer a degree of flexibility. There is a 60-foot spot on the stern, which is most likely where the owner of the yacht would leave his H-175 Airbus helicopter. And there was a second 49 helipad on the boat. The large sun deck also converts into a dance floor by night, offering live music, 
private dining and fireworks. In case you're celebrating the exterior, the genius of award-winning architect Aspen. The curves mimic the gentle waves of the sea, it's seamless, but the yacht still retain a strong personality. If you're feeling a little restless and want to get out there, the Flying Fox also comes with a small fleet of nine tenders, a professional dive center complete with experienced diving instructors and a range of recreational water toys. This includes jet skis, kayaks for the best buy, GTS, Super 300s, and a paddle. Everything you need to go on and explore new islands. The dive center includes a three-person decompression chamber and the option to dive to depths up to 328 feet. But if you want to push your limits, there are experienced divers to help you do that in the safest way possible. If you're going to be that active and remain on your game throughout, you're going to need something that helps you bounce back from muscle aches quickly. While well, you could always call them a Zeus to fix you up. The yacht has a better option available than flying. The Flying Fox is also the first yacht to ever have a cryosauna installed. It has an anti-chamber set at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by the main chamber set at minus 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Cryotherapy is typically favored by athletes from Master Generate, but it comes in handy for all the activities you'll get into when you're on board. Kite, surfing, diving, kayaking. It all takes a toll on the body and you don't want to spend a second of your holiday lying in recovery. This feature proves how much attention to detail and lifestyle the designers have put into making the yacht. They've made an effort to anticipate any and all requirements you might have to give yourself comfort and luxury. All of this, of course, needs a good crew supporting this lifestyle, as the 54 onboard crew. All the sports and gym instructors are either former Olympians or ex-military. The helicopter is serviced by a dedicated pilot, an engineer, and the onboard hospital which is connected to the mainland hospital 24-7 also has a permanent medic. The crew to guest ratio is 2 to 1 to every guest is pampered beyond their wildest imaginations. Despite its incredible size, this boat is no slouch. The mega yacht is capable of top speed of 20 knots and cruises at 50 knots. This incredible vessel took 3 years to design. The designers wanted to make sure they included everything. Most other yachts lack it's about finding the right balance between form and function where form didn't hinder. But function didn't force any luxuries to be stripped away. The result was the Flying Fox, which certainly doesn't disappoint on any front. Now if you look up to who the owner of the Flying Fox is in Google, the results all pointed to Jeff Bezos. But they also stated it's only a rumor. So who commissioned this incredible yacht? Well, there are many speculations. Some rumors say it might be owned by Dmitry Vladimirovich Kaminshik, a Russian businessman and chairman of the Moscow Domodedovo Airport. He has an net worth of $2.5 billion, which is nowhere close to Bezos, but he could certainly buy a $400 million yacht and not feel the prick of shelling out that kind of money. That is, if he did. The good news is, whether it was Jeff Bezos or Dmitry Kaminshik or anybody else, it's certain that neither of them is using it on a regular basis. So you can actually rent out this gorgeous apartment. The not-so-good news for some of you is that it will take $4 million a week to hire this yacht. The Flying Fox is currently based in the Indian Ocean, but it plans to explore Oceania and French Polynesia. The yacht really could set its anchor in the remotest areas. The two onboard pelipads are excellent. Start saving right away if you want to travel in style and discover new places and cultures. You might possibly hold out for an invitation to board. Please check the like and subscribe buttons if you like this video. Thank you for watching and we'll catch up with you shortly.